Bridges. Bridges. Yeah. So, uh, so these are on the our lovely floor. Um, we've talked about you know the importance of glutes, okay, versus the quads. Uh, the best way to work your glutes if you're not standing up is to be on your back. <coughs> we just have hands on hips just to make sure they're staying nice and stable. This is your easiest progression, is just a straight up hip raise. Okay, so we're coming as high as we can and coming down slow. Now most of you could probably do 20 of these and not have any kind of fatigue going on. So the next progression should quickly come. Bring the feet a little bit closer together. We're gonna go up with one leg, up with two legs, take one foot away, hold that top position, and then lower down. Uh, now, another version of this is to just hold that top position. So where it's a passive exercise or static exercise, and that's gonna burn pretty quickly. But bringing the, the eccentric phase or the lowering phase into it is just gonna teach that muscle to control Okay, so it's always good to be able to come up strong, that's going to make you faster. But coming down slow is going to teach your muscle to control and not collapse when we land, when we're running. I'm going to jump in here. <coughs> Ladies, we have an anatomical disadvantage to our male counterparts. Mm. Our hips are wider than our knees, so one of the cheats that we like to do on that exercise is we spin our knees in a little bit closer together. If you're doing this at home, I recommend a toilet roll. If you plop it up between your knees, it's generally about the distance between hips and knees for us. If you can hold the toilet roll without crushing it, you're doing a good job of maintaining that distance without letting that knee collapse in. So it's a great way of just checking that we're doing it well. Because you can actually create a rotational pattern in there. And again, with all of these exercises, it's about form. If you're doing it correctly and you've got good form, you're teaching your body and your brain and your muscles the right patterns, if you've got a cheat in there, if they feel quite easy, and you think, actually, I can do 40 of these, before you progress, just check everybody's in line, everybody's working together, okay? Make sure that your form is good. The last progression on these guys is to do it single leg. So we're actually coming up strong with the one leg and down slow. Now, a big difference between this exercise being good for your butt versus hard work for your hamstrings and quad is actually clenching this glute. Okay, so clenching your butt before you come up. It'll make the contraction stronger, but it'll mean that this muscle fatigues and keeping it clenched on the way down. And that should really apply for any of your, your strength, your leg strength exercises.